Let's look at document splitting in SAP Financial Accounting. In New GL Accounting, an FI document always has two views. One is the entry view, as you can see in this display document, data entry view. And the other is the general ledger view, as you can see over here in the title, general ledger view. Now to go from entry view to general ledger view, if you want entry view, if you click on this button, general ledger view, then you come onto this screen. And from here, if you want to go back to the original entry view, you click on this button, you come to the entry view screen. Now this entry view is how it appears to the document creator. So at the time of creating the document, you will be entering this information. That's why it's called entry view. For example, this is a customer, Minerals Private Limited. And this is the customer ID, 12006. So this is what the user is actually entering, putting the ID of the customer and putting the other information and proceeding with the transaction. So this is the all the entries the user is entering. That's why it's called the entry view. So the entry view, it will show the subledger account. Now this is a customer ID. So customers, vendors, assets are all subledgers. So this is the subledger account that is a customer number. Now when you want to see the general ledger account of this, remember every customer or vendor when you create them, you need to specify their reconciliation account. It's a compulsory field in the master data. And for this particular customer, you have specified the reconciliation account as 102000, which is domestic customers. This is a GL account. So that's why this is appearing in the general ledger view or GL view. Okay. So in the entry view, you can see the customer details. And in the general ledger view, you can see the reconciliation account, which is the domestic customer account number appearing. All the other values and all are pretty much the same. Nothing changes in the general ledger account, which is a sales revenue account over here. There's no change for that. Only the subledger accounts get changed. So that's the difference between the entry view and the general ledger view. Now let's look at what is document splitting. Just like the word itself, document splitting. So it doesn't actually split the document into into two different documents, what it does is it splits the line items. Sometimes a line item can be split into two different line items. Sometimes the line items can remain the same and just some fields are filled in. So that is the meaning of document splitting. Automatically split line items for selected dimensions or you can call them characteristics. It's most useful for segments or profit centers. For example, we discuss what are segments or profit centers. Now, if you want to have a full balance sheet and a P&L statement for a profit center, from the P&L statement, it's easy to derive for a profit center because all the revenue and expense accounts will automatically be captured in the profit center. However, in the balance sheet, for some accounts, such as customer accounts or vendor accounts, you will not be able to put the profit center against them. So it has to derive from somewhere. So for this purpose, document splitting is very useful. So that's the main purpose of document splitting. Enables you to drop complete financial statements for segments, profit centers. You can use it used for other fields also. Most commonly used for profit centers and then segments. Again, another example. If you have a, a different branches in different locations and you want to know the profitability and you want to have the balance sheet for each of those balance sheet and appearance statement for each of those branches. So you can achieve the appearance statement, but however, to have the balance sheet with all the accounts receivable and accounts payable, all those fields filled up, you need to enable document splitting. Document splitting will ensure that all the customers and the vendors are filled up with the relevant profit center, not only the company code. So by keying in the profit center for those customers and vendors line items, you will be able to have a complete balance sheet. You will be able to understand better when I explain to you in the next few slides of how document splitting works. Document splitting can be activated for the client and activated or deactivated for each company code. So in this way, 
you can decide under client which company code should use document splitting and which should